Hello, my name is Alter and welcome back to a post episode reaction for you guys. Uh, so yeah, I, I chose uh, to do blood drive today, and I didn't know anything going in. You know, I don't know. I don't even know if it's based off of something. I'm I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but yeah, it, it looks like a very grand house, um, you know, art house type of deal. And going in this, you know, I was saying like, you know, this really looks like um, a Rocky Horror Movie show because I watched that when I was very young, you know, and I didn't get it when I watched it very young, but I rewatched it and... Um, and I was about like 15 or 16, I rewatched that and I was like, yeah, I, I got it. Um, so yeah, the, I think definitely there is something to be said about our house movies. Uh, I do like the styling and um, the weirdness of it all because it adds to the theme. And I think it works well and best with horror um, genres because that that's where it got its start and that's I think that's why it works so well in this first episode okay so here's the thing I, I, I do have some trouble looking at the, the some of the visuals and all of that but that doesn't necessarily take away from the the story the story is pretty interesting and I, I'm kind of a sucker when it comes to these type of uh, post-apocalyptic deals and that's why I think I, I kind of enjoyed the first uh, Mad Max that I watched and this really kind of reminded me of Mad Max um, to be honest with you at least the first one um, and it's almost a little bit note for note but um, you know there is uh, something different that is added to it and um, I I kind of was going in is like why is it called blood drive and immediately it's answered for me you know uh, uh, because their blood is used as fuel and that's really disturbing because I'm like how, how would that even work because like I know it kind of does kind of lubricate your engine yeah sure uh, but what are those spiky things like are we not gonna are we not gonna um, uh, address that and like how come uh, cars were built that way too like th there's definitely some mystery to it I definitely think that they'll probably uh, they'll probably address it in maybe some future episode or if not I definitely think I can let that go it's not a really big thing where I'm like answers damn it uh, but there is definitely something where it's like uh, I I get the I get the main character immediately because um, it's all in the in the first sequence with him and his his other friend and uh, I definitely think the the friend is uh, an interesting character not really um, an interesting one but more of the kind where he's I kind of know he's more of a token partner guy and uh, he's not gonna be in a lot of episodes because they're, they're gonna be focusing between um, Arthur which is our main protagonist and um, Grace is that her name yeah I'm, I'm gonna go with Grace uh, because she said her name like at the end and I didn't really catch it I think it's Grace I'm not sure I'll double check um, but yeah, I really think I really think that this series has started off strong, um, and there's always something to be said about creative artistic styles that I do enjoy. But this one, I kind of felt it was a little bit like just put in there because it just wants to be artistic, you know that that kind of thing. And I think that. Um, the guy, the main guy, Arthur Slink, he is more of that, you know, paying homage, more of, and also kind of doing the whole Rocky shtick. Uh, and that's what one of the things I was thinking about because I saw his uh, picture when I was going to watch this. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I definitely went in thinking, okay, maybe this is kind of the, like that horror, horror Rocky story type deal. Um, okay, but uh, here's some of the things that I've, I found interesting, which is the whole the whole plot twist given in the first episode almost kind of like a middle finger to 
other series which drags it out and uh, pulls it out of its ass at the last minute and I'm going in and I was like okay you got some big balls because like some some of the series uh, like does take their own sweet little time like uh uh maybe maybe uh but this one is like nope he is part of that big corporation thing and i don't really want to spoil much for you guys well you know this is a post episode action and seeing as you guys are watching this you'll probably watch the episode so spoilers here um okay so yeah so he's part of the big corporation that controls the police as well so that's something interesting where i'm like oh shit uh so that adds another layer to it because in the beginning they're like well you know because of the executives uh, um, uh influencing and you know butting in their heads here we got to be careful and uh you know i gotta break it down for you that kind of um that kind of uh style which is you know not really annoying it's just like i'm like yeah i've seen this a dozen times you know, i don't really enjoy that but you know it's their choice um and this really reminded me of uh candle cove um channel zero if you remember me watching it with you guys I remember so much about that show because that show was like, what the fuck is that? And uh, it's definitely something to be said because it is the same. It is the same channel doing this. It's sci-fi doing this, and I have to say there is a lot of stylings from Channel Zero, and I think they were like, yeah, Channel Zero is a big hit for us. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do more of that. Uh, but this, this definitely needs the the R and. Um, that whole sensor bar thingy, I'm just like, well, we are we are already we are already in a world where blood is used, and we definitely know they're fucking just show the body parts. I don't know, maybe you know it's just me, but I'm just like, yeah, that that's not really necessary to have the fucking sensor bar. You know, it's not like I want to see them fucking. It's just like, why do you even need that? You know, we have fucking blood all over and this is TVMA so I just I just don't really understand and um, you know YouTube has come into that as well but you know I'm not really I I'm not really against that it's just that um, people have different ways of looking at things and I'm just saying we didn't really need that sensor bar so that's my opinion and I hope I'm not going too far because it is an MA, uh, MA rating and um, comparing this to American Gods is like not really fair because you know American Gods is based on something uh, concrete and you know it is very much that whole marketer's ploy to to fight against uh, a series that has gone on to impress and um, filled everyone's lives which is uh, Game of Thrones um, and in this series I definitely think there is much tighter writing I definitely see that they're they thought this storyline through it's not like they have to follow a certain I hope they're not cert following a certain storyline or something like that but it looks like they have it hashed out they're like okay we're gonna fuck with this the audience the first episode and then we're gonna go legit in the next few episodes and you know maybe play around with their mindsets and their psyches because this is very much a thriller the more i think about it um okay so yeah that that was pretty much about it and you know the reason why I, i'm bringing up american gods and kind of comparing it in my head is because there is kind of something to be said about the those artistic styles that they've chosen um american gods is more of the the style where it is very much the the writing of the book comes into visualization Meanwhile, this is more of a, a graphic novel coming to screen and that's definitely something I'm like Is it based on a graphic novel? Because I'm gonna look it up after this. I, I'm, I'm swear to you. I, I swear to you. I'm so sorry that I don't really know um, So yeah, I, th th This was a really good episode to be honest with you. I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the plot twist at the end. I'm like so 
do they think they're gonna get another episode? Because there is definitely a planned on uh, 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 one and season one episode two, right? Like it is already planned for the next episode. I'm just like, wow, you got real balls. Um, I can't wait for the next one. You know what I'm saying? Like there, it's definitely weird and it's definitely. You know, awkward at times, but that's the that's the art house in general. I feel so. Yeah, guys, I really like this. I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, if you did, if you did, please leave a like, and uh, if you would like to see more, please subscribe to me, and also ring that bell if you would like to see more of my videos and be notified firsthand that when I put out a video, obviously. Uh, so yeah guys that's about it and I will see you in the next episode. See you then. <laughs>